All right, so it's another year of our reviews of new bandolier products that we've gotten. And can year. you can you believe it? Another year. Another year, yeah. And there's new products. I know. <laughs> like you know, we say every time they come up with like new products. It's almost like every other month they have something new and like a batch of things. Yeah. So every time we take a trip, uh, we take some bandolier products with us to t test out and. They're always like great. They're you know very durable. Um, Come they're in chic. handy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So, uh, so yeah, we've been like uh, fans of bandolier for years and years, and it all started with this bandolier case. Um, very simple design, but we get asked about it all the time because it is like a crossbody uh, strap that comes with it. And nowadays, you can get like so many different types of shapes and colors, textures of this strap, along with the case too. Um, and they always do a great job of making it sleek and stylish. And uh, you can also put, you know, all your cards and uh, ID in here in the back. So it's very versatile and we've used it for at least like five years now. More than five years now, yeah. I think. It's yeah. been more than five years. And I will say if you, were familiar with bandolier in the past and you know there was something about it that you didn't like um, definitely try it again because every uh, they do upgrade their products so in the beginning when I first purchased the um, case it was a little stiff and it was mm -hmm. kind of hard to remove and I had cracked the case one time um, but this was like over five years ago and since then they have improved their product so now it is really easy to remove so if that's one of the things that did happen to you i highly recommend trying them out again because they have improved their products so um yeah so that's just one thing if you are familiar with them and want to test them out again i highly recommend it yeah uh so yeah so we're gonna go over the products that we got this year um and we use a lot of it in japan when we took our trip to japan and uh when was that may was it april april it was yeah, end, end, of, uh, end, of, end april. of april beginning of may um, and one of them here, because this was the new thing they came out with is totes and bass. Sorry, I just That's like, okay. <laughs> uh, they came out with like this nice totes and a purse bag, which Kenny's going to show in a second. But I love totes, <laughs> um, especially for traveling or um, going to the office. Uh, or I didn't need to carry my laptop. I always like to have this kind of tote with me. And I did have a similar tote like this before where I would always carry my laptop, but I wanted to upgrade a little bit and this was the perfect tote for it. Uh, so it does fit a 15 inch laptop and it has a padded sleeve inside. So um, it's very, very protected and it has even a latch where you can snap in so it's in place. And then some other things I carry with me are like my iPad and I, there's like a lots of organization in this, by the way. So that's another thing that I liked about it is like compartments, zippered pockets. Uh, and I was able to put in uh, my iPad as well in this other side pocket. Another feature that we really, really liked about this bag is there's an actual water bottle pouch. Yeah, and that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> We've always, always been advocates for separate compartments for water bottles because one, the condensation will get other items wet in your bag, so we don't want that. Um, so to have like this separate pouch inside too is really cool. Yeah, because I want I want my water bottle to be standing vertically. Mm -hmm. Like I don't want it to fall over. Maybe it might leak if it does. You never yeah. know. So like the, the peace of mind that it's just standing up vertically, mm -hmm. like that's what I like about those pouches. Yeah. Uh, so then, you know, I was able to like fit in some other things, uh, you know, other essentials like. She loves these plastic I love like, these organizational bags. Pouches. The so I get these <laughs> at the dollar store in Japan. They're called Daiso stores, or a Seti has like another one, but they have these handy, handy bags where you organize, and it's always good. And this is just two, but there's like yeah. oh, I 20 have, to 40 yeah. like different sizes. I probably it's have crazy. like 50 of them. Yeah. <laughs> I can't stop. There's also a uh, zippered compartment in here, and I believe this is the sunglasses compartment because uh, they do list on there that there's a separate compartment for your sunglasses. So I did put my sunglasses in here, but I'm not sure if I feel that um, safe in this pouch. Like I just feel like it's still not protected as much. So I did carry like in a separate um, yeah. sunglasses case and it's, it's, it's not fine. It's not padded, is that why it doesn't feel like? Yeah, it's just, you know, a regular pouch. So oh, yeah. I don't know. Usually like whenever I see like a dedicated sunglasses pouch, it's like, um, 
It's like vel it's like a velvet material or yeah. something like soft. Unless I'm missing padding. something, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's just it's for me. I don't feel like it's like a great spot for sunglasses, so I just opt to carry like a separate, you know, sunglasses case. Um, and then you know, again, this bag fits a lot, so it'll be fine just to use that pouch for um, something else. Uh, and then behind the water bottle is like another compartment where you can stash stuff in. So I put in like, you know, um, a granola bar behind there. Also, this bag has uh, two places where they put uh, D-rings and D-rings are there to attach these little things that Bandelier comes up with all the time. Again, they have like new inventions all the time. This is one of them, but uh, you can hook it up inside. You can clip it on like this and just leave it inside or you can use the D-ring on the out, outer portion and clip on some other items too. They and have cute little accessories. Yeah, so I cute. love these things. So this is another new item I got. Um, they have different size pouches That's, and I shapes. Know, it was like a pocket thing. Oh, yeah. It was just like a cute heart. <laughs> no, no, it's actually a pouch. So this is the little cute pouch that I got. They have all different sizes and shapes. I got the heart shape, but they also have like square, rectangle uh, and circles. Uh, and um, some different colors, but I like the red because uh, it's like a little bit of a contrast with all the black that I have. I like the pop of color. Um, and a heart is cute, so I got the heart, but inside. So you can put little you know, coins, lipstick and stuff in there. So I have my little lipstick. I usually have a little bit of cash in here too, but what's cool about this, it has a little D-ring in here as well. And it came with this keychain where you can attach your keys to here and attach to this little mini D-ring in here. So you don't, you need, can have your keys with you and like find it easily. I thought that was so cute. Like we actually just made this discovery. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like how thoughtful of Bandelier to think of all this in this little cute pouch, you know? And then on the inside, this is where I have like my lipstick case, but the lipstick case is great too. Um, because it has a little mirror inside so you can see when you're putting on your lipstick. A lot of these things like they do have, um, I've seen cases where they have mirrors attached to it, but a lot of times the mirror is like super crappy, but this one is actually really nice. You can actually see what you're putting on. Uh, and then, you know, I have a good size lipstick in here and I can also put my chapstick in here too. So you can put two items in one little pouch here. So very handy. What do you think about the straps? So the straps, you know, I thought they at first they were like too thin, but actually it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, carrying it around Tokyo, I felt like it was pretty good support, surprisingly, even though it's not like heavily padded or anything, but they do use good material too, because this is all leather. So I think that's why it feels good as well. The only thing is, um, but this is just because it's like a tote style. Like, I just wish it was a, like a, the strings were a little bit longer maybe and it'll be a little bit easier to carry because mm. I have a lot that I carry so it gets a little bit, you know, bulky. bulky. Yeah. So if it was a little bit lower, like my other totes, um, mm. maybe it would be a little bit easier to carry around. But overall, I really like it because I usually use it, uh, like I said, for work purposes anyway. So it comes in handy for that. What I, I think what I like most about it is how minimal it is. Like you don't see big logos anywhere and sleek. Mm -hmm. I feel like it goes with like a ton of outfits too. And they have this in another color, right? I think they I think they have like a I believe brown, so. like a tannish brown yeah. color, but for some reason I wasn't like we both looked at that color and it didn't It wasn't my style of color. Yeah, though. I definitely think the the black was a yeah. better choice. But maybe they'll come out with like white. Or like an ivory. Oh, ivory would be nice mm, if they came nice. up like an ivory color. Yeah. yeah. Another thing I saw in reviews too that people liked about this is that it stands up straight. So no matter oh. how much you put in here, like the structure stays true. Uh, so, you know, a lot of the toasts that you get or a lot of toasts that I have, it's like when you start putting on too much stuff, it starts to like fall over, you know, yeah. or like um, bend or something like that. But this actually stays true in the structure and just stands straight. It must be this boning here that keeps it like... Yeah, they yeah. did a really, really good job of designing this bag. Another minimalist bag. So I used this bag when we were in Japan. I carry totes too, but sometimes if we're just running like a quick errand, um, like we go to convenience stores a lot in Japan, yeah. like near our parents' house, um, I just want to like carry like a small purse. 
So this is a purse, but um, you can change out the straps. So right now, I, I, you can actually carry it like, I guess like this if you want, as like a clutch. Um, I never use it this way because I like to be hands-free. Yeah, so, I feel like that's too bulky for a clutch. Yeah, though. maybe, yeah. huh? You could use this. Um, I actually, like when I was packing my bag to Japan, um, I put my makeup in here. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I use this kind of like as a makeup case when it was in my suitcase. Um, but yeah, so this, does come with it does come with the strap that matches so this is a adjustable black strap with gold hardware and it does have a d-ring here so then you can also attach keys or the, like cute accessories mm -hmm. like crystal had and you can put it um, while well, you attach it to the d-rings inside inside the purse here it's like it's interesting because a lot of I know these types of bags are popular now where you can change out the straps and usually like because I have another purse that does that um, it's more like on the outside, so you can mm -hmm. see the D-ring, which I actually kind of prefer it hidden like this, um, so you don't see it, the hardware. Um, I just, I don't know, just I feel like it looks more seamless and sleek that way. Mm -hmm. So anyways, so this is how it looks like when it's attached. So you can't even tell really that it's one of those bags where the straps are interchangeable. So just like the tote bag, it's very minimal and there's no like huge like branding anywhere. It is, there is like, an, um, you can see, but it's like really hard to see, but it does say bandolier back here. It's like embossed in there. So I like that it's like minimal, sleek, um, the nice pebble leather. It's very durable. Like it does, a, it has structure too, like mm -hmm. your tote bag. And it does open up a little bit, like if you actually have to stuff more things. I never really, if I carry small bags like this, I'm very like, just have like some makeup, my phone. Yeah, I don't really put a whole lot of stuff in like my purses. If I need to carry a lot of stuff, I'll carry like a tote <laughs> like that. Mm, yeah. But um, it does expand a little bit if you need to put a little bit more things in there. And then inside, as far as like compartments, it's pretty minimal, but there is a zippered pouch, which um, can fit quite a bit of stuff. There's a zippered pouch on that side. And on the other side, there's like a smaller pouch, but it's not zippered, it's just like a card slot type of pouch so yeah this I, I feel like it's it's on trend too because of like the camera bag style mm -hmm. the style is pretty popular but I also think like even as the trend dies down it's still because it's so minimal and sleek I think it'll it'll last it'll last a long time so I think I showed this in the last bandolier video that we did but I wanted to mention it again because we have another color um, and I use this a lot in Japan uh, this year so just kind of wanted to go over it a bit. Um, so this is the uh, strap that comes with the lipstick case attached within the strap. So, um, you know, you put, attach your phone to here. So this is the usual strap that I use. It's like thicker, but um, when I'm traveling, I tend to use this lipstick pouch one because as i mentioned before i have to have my chapstick everywhere with me i have to like put it on maybe like every two hours i'm obsessed with chapstick so i know it's funny because like when it's in the bag and you can't find it, it's like where's my chapstick, yeah, like, where's my chapstick? i need to find my chapstick <laughs> i go crazy so it's nice to know that i always have my chapstick in here and it really has come in handy because there's times there's a couple times where i thought about my chapstick i'm like oh where's my chapstick i'm like right here in my pouch. Do you know what it was the best when we were on a road trip? Because you always just have it on you when yeah, you're driving. Yeah. <laughs> and like, you're just like, oh, let me just put this on real quick. <laughs> yep. So I like this for that. Also, I like that it has a D-ring on the bottom here too. So you can attach like your, your keys if you have it. Um, or an iPods case is another thing that I take with me on traveling trips or traveling trips <laughs> on vacation um and uh because i always like to have my airpods with me um especially in japan because when you're on the train you know you want to have your earphones in so you're not distracting everybody else so um it's nice to have this pouch with me uh so again i don't have to like look around for my airpods anywhere i can just have it right here everything all attached to this strap um, and also they have like a white version too, or the ivory version. Yeah, Candy I like used this, this one. Uh, and it's the same, same thing. Same the thing. same uh, kind of, you know, the hardware with the D-ring. Um, they're both gold, but uh, she has like a I thicker like, yeah. lipstick in here. I like too that the, um, 
the pouch part is leather, mm -hmm. but then the rest of it is nylon. nylon yeah. yeah, so I prefer the nylon. Me it's too. just, it's more comfortable, mm -hmm. in my opinion, compared to um, all leather. So, yeah. I, yeah, I like that they mixed the material on, on these straps. Right. And then also, you know, I have to have one of these <laughs> so cute. little keychain uh, tags that has C, my initial Crystal, on it. I think Crystal likes red hearts. Yeah, well, I <laughs> just joking. like, you know, a little <laughs> bit of color. Yeah. <laughs> I like to have a little bit pop of color on something. So I really like these little um, tags that Bandelier has uh, started tags. making. Yeah. And that this is also like their signature pebble leather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah everything. So like everything, like whatever you buy, uh, like if you want to like buy different accessories, it's easy to mix with their other products because they use all, it's like seamless, like the leather that they use, mm -hmm. it's all the same. So it's easy to um, mix and match. Like, yeah, like like the AirPod case, yeah. um, you know, it's the exact same leather. So it doesn't yep. look mismatched. Another item that we have, I think we've brought this up in like several of our videos, but it is just so popular. And every time we put out a video, there's another new question mm -hmm. about it. So I was like, you know what? We should talk about it again because it's just a popular product. So the Billy Bandelier case, when this first came out, I think it came out like two or three years ago. It was, it sold out immediately, came back in stock, sold out again. I mean, it sells out all the time, but they always do restock it because it's such a popular product. I think now it's been pretty consistently up and it doesn't sell out um, like it did in the beginning. They're probably aware to like, it's best to keep it in stock because mm -hmm. they keep going out. So when I, this was their very, the very first original one was the black one with the gold hardware and it's all leather. Now, when I looked online now, I've noticed that like this part is leather, but this part up here is nylon. Um, and then we've had questions about that, like which do I prefer, like the nylon or the leather? I can't tell you <laughs> because I don't have the nylon one, but like we said previously, we do like the nylon and it does, I don't think it's, it's uh, I don't wanna say ugly, I don't think it's a mismatch when they mix like the leather with the nylon. No. I, I th still think it looks nice and elegant. Mm -hmm. So if they only had the nylon one available, I would have bought that one. Like it doesn't bother me, but at the time when I got it, it was just all leather. So that's why mine is all leather. And then when the ivory one came out, it was the same thing. They didn't have the nylon one yet. It was just all leather. Someone did ask like, does my, <laughs> does the um, ivory get dirty? Which is a good question. Uh, I would say like mine did not get dirty because usually when I'm using the nylon color, I'm wearing light colored clothes. So the light color doesn't really rub off on the, uh, the ivory, but maybe if I was wearing black, maybe the dye could, I don't know. It hasn't mm. happened because I usually mm. don't wear black on white like this. So I usually end up wearing like my black one. So I couldn't say, um, but for me, it has not been an issue. I, I have not gotten it dirty. It's, yeah. yeah. I would say generally all of these straps, the bandolier products we have do not get dirty. Like, Never noticed any like scuffs or like yeah. dirt attached to it. I think they really use great material, material. where yeah. it kind of, you know, did, doesn't attract dirt and stuff like that. So I think you're fine even with this ivory color. And I, I wanna say like, even if it did, like something like got a little bit of color on it or something got on it, I feel like this leather, it seems kind of durable enough to like wipe off clean mm -hmm. like pretty well. So, I mean, it doesn't seem flimsy or anything like that. But um, uh, like I said, I don't have the nylon one, so I really couldn't say which is better. But after having the other strap with the mix of the nylon and the leather, I, I don't mind that style. Like I think it, it works just fine. And these have like multiple compartments and it has, you know, a zipper in the back too, which is so, such a cool and thoughtful design. I usually put like a mask or something in here. And I love to use these at, uh, when we're on road trips. So I have like, you know, when you go to the gas station and you're at a stop and you just want to run inside to go to the bathroom, I already have this on me and I'm not like looking for my purse or sometimes the bathrooms don't have hooks and you have nowhere to put your purse. Mm -hmm. I do not want to put my purse on the bathroom floor. Don't want to hold mm -hmm. it while I'm peeing. So <laughs> it's great that this is just strapped on me and I have all my essentials in here and my phone, hands-free. So this is like my go-to when we're, uh, especially when we're traveling, road trip, and also yeah. we're hiking. Cause then I can put all these like little gadgets, like little mm -hmm. things like, when we're hiking, so I feel like Lara Croft when I'm wearing like this oh, yeah. with my hiking like, clothes like or Tomb something. Raider. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I've also worn this with like a nice shirt and um, pants, so I feel like I can like wear this with like different styles. I don't think I'll ever get tired of wearing this. It's 
it's a style that I really like. And I've used this one a lot longer, so the leather now is like softened up on this one, and this mm -hmm. one's still a little bit more stiff, but they, um, the leather just gets better and better the more like it just gets more soft so i really liked the material that they use for these uh, billy straps okay so now we're gonna create this section for frequently asked questions <laughs> because we do have a lot of questions about bandolier i feel like we're advocates for a bandolier now <laughs> because we know so much about it like we've had it for years and we use all their products basically so anyway so here's some of the questions one of them um was about how to lay the phone on the table. So it says, how does the phone lay on the table? It's very wobbly. Is it very wo wobbly with the Haley slash Donna and Emma in mind? Which one is more stable? Well, I would say this question really depends on um, how much you put in <laughs> your case. Because yeah. I have, I'm gonna count, well, I've actually got That's a, a lot, lot in there. there. I've got, well, I still have some cash in here today. And then I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six credit cards. So my pouch has stretched out a little bit because it's leather, so it does, you know, stretch over time. And then when I put this wad of cash in here, <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty thick and yeah, yes. obviously it's gonna be wobbly because yes. I've got a lot stuffed in there. But if I take everything out, it probably won't be as wobbly, but, yeah, actually it's not that bad. If you put in like a couple cards, I don't think it's gonna be wobbly. Yeah. Um, but you know, if you have like a crap load of cards and cash in there, like yeah. she has, yeah, it's gonna be wobbly. So it's really what, what you prefer. Do you want to carry more cards and just deal with the wobbliness? Which that's what I usually do. I just carry maybe like five cards in there. And yeah, it's like a little, you know, yeah, it's definitely cards. not balanced, but I would take that over having like, you know, the phone lay flat. Like why would you, do you need the phone know, to yeah. lay flat? I yeah. don't know why. I mean, that is a, I thought it was an interesting question because there was never, there's never, I never have any moments where like, I put a phone down like, oh my gosh, it's wobbly. It's not flat. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm sure there must've been a reason yeah. for that. But for us, there, I, I have barely leave it down anyways because I don't want to lose it. I like to have it attached. So when I'm sitting down at a restaurant or something, I don't put my phone on the table. It's still attached to me. And then I just have it kind of like sitting on my lap yeah. with the strap on. So it's rare that I even take it off the strap. Well, I mean, I do take it off the strap, like when I'm at home. Oh, when you're at home, yeah, yeah, like yeah. when you go to bed at night or like, that, or like table, yeah, yeah, if it's like in front of my computer, yeah. yes, I take it off. But I don't keep it on like me you, like all the time. But yeah, it's like not like I have to have it flat though. But so, yeah, I don't yeah. mind that it's not flat. The next one is, I also use my phone with the magnet in the car. Do you have any favorites among the mentioned models? Um, we, we don't have a favorite Don't magnet. have a favorite. We just go on Amazon. Yeah. yeah. And, and there's, there's so many different versions and guarantee you like any one of them will work. Yeah, and they're cheap. They're not yeah. expensive. And what we do is, so I used to have just like a magnet card because I didn't want to put a magnet sticker on my phone. But because I have stuffed this with so much of my credit cards, the magnet card was no longer usable. <laughs> like it would just, my phone would just fall off. Yeah. <laughs> so I now do put the magnet on yeah. the back of this. All right, next, wondering, do people wear the strap all day at work uh, slash the office? Um, I don't go into the office anymore because I work completely remote now, but when I used to go into the office, uh, no, I would take off the strap actually, because I, I don't like to have it on me like all the time if I'm not walking around with it or if I'm not traveling. Um, so I do usually take off the strap um, and just lay it on the table. Or sometimes I will just leave the strap on too and leave it on the table. It depends on what kind of strap I have with it because I do have several different kinds that I uh, interchange a lot. If it's, you know, something that I can just easily lay on the table, it's not gonna take up too much space, then I'll just leave the strap attached and just lay everything on the table. But yeah, I don't wear it when I'm at the office, like on the computer. When I'm at the computer at the desk, I take it off. I have not worked in an office setting in over a decade. <laughs> But I have, um, when I was working um, on modeling shoots, it came in so handy having the strap because a lot of times when you go into the like the makeup room, you're not allowed to bring your purse. Like they're like, okay, put your purse down there. And I just get so nervous on set because there's so many people you don't know, a lot of people running around and I just don't like having my valuables just sitting somewhere where I can't keep an eye on it. But they never tell me like I have to take off my strap. 
-hmm. So I always just had this on me and I loved it because I felt like I had uh, an eye on my stuff, like my valuables. No one really noticed that I was having my stuff with me because a lot of times I don't want you to have stuff around because I, they're afraid like people might steal things and you know, you're gonna put it in your bag mm -hmm. or whatever. So um, this, you know, obviously, uh, there's no way I can steal something and put it in this little pouch. So I liked it for that reason. And I will say a lot of stylists loved this strap, the strap, because they're like, because they're running around putting on makeup on people and they're like, oh my gosh, that's so convenient. Because they also usually have to take a thick picture of the model um, for like a shot for the producer or the director to show how the makeup looks. So anyways, for me, even though I don't work in a tradition, I didn't work in a traditional office setting, it came in handy wherever I went to work on set. So. Yeah, I, I loved, I, and I still love it. All right, so next question is, how do you keep the iPhone from turning on while wearing it? Sometimes I look up and I have seven apps open. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> hold on. That's actually never that, happened that's to never me. That's never happened to me. I wonder how that happens. Um, I'm not sure wall? how you're wearing it, but I guess if you're like wearing it, wearing it like this, because we usually have our fi phone facing outwards. And the reason why we have it facing outwards because we could pick it up and take yeah. a picture right away. Right. So yeah. So it's like this on us, yeah. right? Now, if you're going like this, yeah, I could I see like how it, it hits you on. all the time. But we have it out like this all the time. So no, we don't ever have problems with anything opening up. Yeah. And then someone has asked in the past, like, well, if you keep it out like that, doesn't your doesn't your did you ever smash it into things in your phone? And I'm like, I'm never, never. A, I'm never in a situation where I'm like moving around and banging into things. No, so. but I have like, you know, actually banged into stuff before, you know, like, cause when you're traveling and going yeah, on airplanes, okay. you're in like small spaces. But nothing to the and point you have, where... I have bumped into stuff, but I've never like scratched my phone or anything. Yeah. The only time I scratched my phone is when I didn't have the case on. So there you go. I will say that if you are adamant about having the phone flipped inside, they do have cases where there's a cover. Mm -hmm. So maybe that might be a good option for you. This is our last question. Um, been contemplating on finally buying one. Mm -hmm. uh, question about the metal colors. I'm debating between pewter and silver. Is that how you say that, pewter? I think so. Anyway, That's how I say it. She's debating between colors. And do you find the metals mix all right when changing out straps with different metal colors? So I, in the beginning, chose pewter a lot. It's like a darker grayish color. And silver, you know, it's silver. I, the reason why I chose pewter, because it's more of a muted, color so it's not as flashy and I felt like it matched more to the black cases and it didn't stand out like it blended more with the case so that's why I went with pewter a lot of the time but over time like I kind of I was wearing a lot of gold jewelry so then I kind of wanted my gold jewelry to match more of the golder um, hardware so I started switching to gold but now I have a lot of mix and matching um, gold yeah. hardware and it doesn't bother me but no. If you're the person that is like, I have to have everything matching, then yeah, you better match your stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is an example right here. But so I go with a lot of gold hardware, but uh, earlier, you know, years ago, I got this pouch and I got the silver hardware. And so, you know, you don't really notice it too much. Yeah, mm -hmm. at first I thought it would be like weird to have different color hardware, but you really don't notice it. Yeah. So it, because it's such a minimal thing. Yeah, I feel it is pretty minimal. It, it really is personal preference, yeah. I think. I mean, I get it, like you want everything to match, um, but to me, it just, it doesn't bother me. I prefer the gold now, but in the beginning, I, I was more drawn to the pewter. All right, so I think um, that's all our questions that we got. Um, hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. And <laughs> if you wanna watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.